It has been two weeks to the day since the last time I put a video out uh, when I'm recording this. And it's been even longer since I've been in the verse. And that has to do with issues with the game. Uh, and I was waiting for 3.19.1, which is out now. Uh, partly because I actually haven't been able to get into the verse at all for even longer than these two weeks. For anyone that knows, knows that I've been locked out. There's just been a massive massive problem uh not just me but many people and i've had issues with the game and issues i mean with the issue council i'll possibly get into that in another video if i see any interest of that so you want to kind of hear what i've been dealing with as far as cig and issue council let me know uh but i have been able to do stuff in the ptu but i really haven't explored much i really didn't want to do too much in the ptu because i wanted to actually experience the verse but it's been a long time it's been very frustrating because during uh the entirety of the last free fly i wasn't able to take part i wasn't able to try out any of those ships i wasn't able to take part in any of the contests uh there are contests now i'll get into that uh, i got a lot to talk about because there are some new things with star citizens and the verse this week is the start of alien week uh which is another ship theme event from cig um Unlike the last past couple events, this is not a free fly event. It's just more of a way for them to offer some ships for sale. And with that, at the same time, uh, try to uh, to get more people to buy some ships. Uh, it's not really a theme like like Cormor, which is Valentine's Day, or Fortuna, which is uh, like St. Patrick's Day. There's no really in-game thing, as far as I'm aware, but I might be wrong on that. Uh, like the packages during Luminalia, there's no... Uh, trade show happening that you're going to go and try out the ships as far as I know. Again, I could be wrong on that, but I haven't really seen anything about that. I will know for sure when I get into the verse. It's really a time for them to kind of offer ships for sale. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to kind of to look at that and see uh, what ships are currently available and kind of what I think about that. So here we are at the first little kind of thing put out on the CIG website for the alien week this is the the ships for humans you can kind of see here we got the the nox we got some talons we got a defender yeah a bunch of ships here uh i don't really feel like reading this because you can go read this as well i will say this is one of the things here um you remember bar citizen when you went attended bar citizen you would get the uh the banu cube uh there are no bar citizens near me and no way i will ever get near bar citizen so i didn't get one of those i'm not going to get one of these unless anyone ever wants to to send me one i can't get either of those but this looks like they've replaced the cube with a fidget spinner i guess um or a magic eight ball banu style why does it say run on them how does this work so i think it's kind of like a magic eight ball i don't know anyways that's what it is fidget spinner eight ball uh that's something new we have a very luxurious pose from this character here a video you can watch feel free to watch on your own I'm not, i really want to look at the ships that are available right now we're going to take a look at them first ship up that we see here is the banu defender again i wouldn't really pay a lot of money for any of the ships in game especially right now although they are pretty cool i do like the banner defender i i first time i actually used this i thought it would be just like a fighter where you get into the cockpit you fly around you go it has a fairly large interior i don't remember these little kind of fins on the side i haven't really looked at a at a defender in a while but they're really cool looking ships they kind of spread out and point straight ahead when you, when you're in flight mode as opposed to the landing mode these arms kind of shift around but there's this really cool staircase that comes down the doors to each pilot seat and there's not a pilot and a co-pilot seat it's just like two pilot seats in there and a cool little interior cool little bed no bathroom uh, i guess the banu don't really worry about that for their fighters because it's just a fighter although it is a cool ship i really do like it and the look of it is good uh this is definitely a ship that i like to kind of fly around in game but not one that i own we have the glaive that has gone up in price i mean the banner defender has gone up in price but this i don't think 
Oh no, has this? This has always been a pretty expensive ship, so I don't know really if it's gone up at all. If so, it really hasn't gone up much. But it is a cool Vandal-style ship that you can fly around. It is pretty awesome. Uh, we do have, I never say this right, the Carthu Al, which I love the the view you have. You can see here, sitting in the cockpit, you have a ton of view and how it kind of just lifts up. It's almost like the Slave 1 in the way that it's kind of more of an upright style that you're flying in. I think that's really cool. Banu Merchantman, the ship that a lot of people are excited for, a lot of people are angry about, that it is not even really being developed right now, and a lot of ship that I think some people are going to love and some people are going to, to not. Uh, some of the changes that have been made, you know, it's gotten way bigger, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of how the, the turret up top is going to allow people to EVA inside it when it opens up, but it looks cool. I think a lot of people are really excited about both the cargo hauling and the market's going to happen in there. This is definitely a ship that's gone up in price a ton. And I know this because I have the potential to get myself a merchantman in the future because I have one of the original um, CCUs. When it was, I think, three, it might have been even less. And so, um, like, it would be much more uh, reasonable for me to be able to get a merchantman when it comes out. Uh, maybe upgrading something like my Star Runner that I own uh, because it's very doable with the, the CCU I have because this this ship has gone up by more than double and I'm expecting in the future it's going to go up again. That being said, I don't really see spending $650 on a spaceship. That's crazy. That's a lot of money if you don't have the money. Uh, and it doesn't even come with, with a Defender. It'd be cool if it came with a Defender. Also be cool if it came with one of those little cubes I was talking about and one of those fidget spinners. You know, put those on a table somewhere. But it's going to be a cool looking ship in the future. Uh, the reason why I'm holding on to the CCU, besides the fact that, I mean, it's definitely a value that I wouldn't be able to get again, is that one day I might want to have a bigger ship like this, but I don't really see this being a solo ship. Uh, I don't know anyone uh, who plans on soloing this if they really understand what they might be getting into, because it's going to be a massive ship. But one day, the merchantman's going to be out, not for a long time. It's going to be a long time before that is. The Nox just like any of the other current speeder bikes, just a different version. So they have that. You can get that right now. It's available. The Prowler, which is like a drop ship, that one also went up in price, but maybe only by about 50 bucks uh, compared to its original price. Kind of a cool interior ship. Um, not a lot of use except for drop ships. So if you have a large group and you'd like to go, you know, land and swarm an area, a bunker, maybe jump town, it's be a good ship for using for that. Another ship not available. I don't think this has changed, or maybe it's only been changed by like 20, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, an upcoming cargo ship, but the cargo inside these weird triangular shaped things. I don't know how that's going to work uh, if they're going to have to change this design when this ship finally comes out, because this ship is still in concept. And the reason why is because these cargo containers are different shape than the other ones. So will they be only specific to this ship or will you be able to run cargo with other things? That'll be uh, that'll be needed to be seen in the future, but it's kind of a cool ship. When I first saw the image of the ship, I didn't think it was like that big of a ship until I realized that it's massive. It's just got a really interesting design, but the bridge is like a small area just up here, I think. Next ship, the Santokiai. Uh, really can't say much about the ship. Uh, I haven't really flown it that much, but it uh, has, again, the big, easy to see out of uh, front interior of it. We've got two Talons. There's this Talon. There's like, I think the Shrike is the next one. Talon Shrike. Both cool looking bird ships, just like a bird, extremely fragile. So you fly these ships around and you take a hit. You're, there's a good chance you're going to take a lot of damage, but they are really cool looking ships. Also, I love how the. Uh, when you sit in the cockpit and power it up, how the windows just kind of click out of the way. I can't really explain it. Really cool. Cool sound in these ships. I really do like the sound there. The Blade. This is a fast ship. Super fun to fly. You kind of get into, onto like a belly first position and get in there and fly that. Kind of neat. Really do think that's kind of a cool ship as well. So that is it. Those are the ships that are available. There are paints available as well. Uh, I'm not really going to get into that. I don't really want to look at the ships. Uh, paints that are available. I really don't see the point right now of buying the paints myself since I don't have the ships to put them on. But there are a few different cool looking ships. There's one called Oculus. Uh, 
the paint for the uh, the banner defender. I like how that looks. But again, I don't have a defender, so there's no reason to get a paint like that. No paints for the merchantman because, you know, there's no merchantman available. Same with the rail in things like that. So only the ships that are currently available in game. So that is what is uh, available coming out right now. Next up, let's look at the contest. The first contact screenshot contest. This is in Alien Week. So Alien Week has begun in commemoration of First Contact Day. We are celebrating the people of the verse that aren't human. Currently, that is not you. You can only play a human. Although, you can get the uh, the Vandal mask if you already have it and put that on and kind of role play as a Vandal. Uh, first place, a uh, Spirit Prowler. Uh, that is, I think that was worth like 450, 440. Is that what it was? I can't remember now. Banner Defender, that's cool. Maybe that's a way for me to get Banner Defender, which is over $200 in game, plus the Wanderer paint uh, and the Asperia Talon, uh, which is one of the, the bird like, is the third place. So you have until the 25th, which is about 10 days, nine days to get a screenshot together. You can look at the contest rules and try to win one of those ships. Pretty cool, I think. Uh, as, a, as I said before, I've won ships in the contest before. The last one I won was the Vulture. Definitely worth entering contests and trying to win yourself a ship. Never hurts to enter, and the more entries are out there, the, the better chance that we're going to see some pretty awesome stuff. So that is it for that on Spectrum. There has been a lot of other stuff on Spectrum we're going to get into. The main thing, and this is on the topic of other games, there have been other games uh, talked about on Spectrum. Starfield just came out, and that seems to be one of the, the major talking points. So let's talk about Starfield. Starfield is huge on Spectrum. A lot of people are talking about it uh, because it's a new space game, and who doesn't love space games? So it is blowing up on Spectrum. It's one of the few things people are talking about that is not Star Citizen. Uh, there are some others, but it is the big thing. People are talking about it as being like the Star Citizen killer. Um, actually, first, on the topic of other games, I've been busy learning to code, and I had shown you uh, the start of a fan game, a Star Citizen fan game that I've been working on, uh, and I thought I'd maybe show you a bit of the progress. I'm going to do a little bit of a tangent and get a little bit of feedback on that. Once I show you that, it'll be really quick. Then we're going to get on to talking about Starfield. So here we are in Godot. Godot? 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 I don't know. What is... How do you say this? Uh, I'm not really going to show you much about all the uh, the code that I put in. Quite a bit here. Uh, you can see, like, you know, this is just my enemy code here. But what I will do is I'm going to just quickly show you where I'm at as far as design, what I'm thinking to add, what I'm thinking to change, and we're going to go from there. Uh, there's a lot of kind of temporary stuff I put in here. This is going to change with the kills and the gems, the heat here. I quickly drew this little miner guy, little mining hat on there, but I'm definitely going to change that into more of a spacey spaceship thing, but I just, it was so much easier to draw, draw this little guy. These hearts are very temporary. I drew those real quick, and they're kind of big anyways. Also, uh, you can see this is wrong. Why is that like that? Um, my auto tile is kind of messed up, and it's this little like rock shape, which I'm not really going to do. Uh, I'm going to change that into a totally different shape. The background sandy bottom, I think I'm going to keep the same. The enemies look different. Uh, they're just kind of temporary. I drew them real quick as well. But this is what I got so far. I got little sounds. Ooh, look at me. And I got my little laser beam, so I can like shoot that around. And as you can see, it heats up down here. So if I heat it up too much, which is slower on the rocks. When you're hitting the enemies, they get hot faster. But if I overheat it, then I can't shoot until it heat, uh, cools all the way down. So you have to kind of watch yourself because you don't have any weapons. You're just going to run around looking for rock nodes and watching out for enemies uh, through the caves. Yeah, I definitely have to fix that. Oh, so that guy hit me. So there, I killed him. Uh, you can see it heat up a lot quicker. He did a little damage when he got me there. Uh, they do chase you, but those rocks, I've had a little issue here. Those rocks are kind of hidden, so you won't be able to see them that well. Okay, that guy was sleeping, so I got able to get him. Um, if I'm doing this to these rocks, I do overcharge them, and they explode. If you're too close, they do do some damage. You couldn't see the mining bar on these. That's what I got to fix. They're showing up on the wrong... Um, like the Y sort's wrong on those, so I'll fix those. So right now I'm just going to blow these up so they're gone. Um, that's the exit. I don't want to go there yet. 
And I just saw a guy here. Where is he? There he is. He's sleeping. All right. So these are overlapping. I got to work on that too. But you can see here, just like in Star System, we got this yellow bar, green bar, and red bar. Each one's different. You can see they're slightly different, each one. Um, if I mine this one, if I get it into the green, we have the green underneath filling up as well. And that gets you your little Haddonite, whatever gems. So you can start mining all those. Pick them up. And again, I got to lower the rate that these are spawning as well so that they're not all stacked on top of each other. I want to make it a bit harder. My plan is that uh, every level down you go, see we just went down a level, the enemies will get harder and maybe they can start seeing you from a bit farther away. Maybe they can start uh, chasing you a little faster. Your health will not go up currently. I don't have any way to heal yourself up. I don't have anything for the bugs to drop and the, uh, as you can see, there's no real um, health or no real animation or sound for when they die. They just kind of disappear. Also, um, something I've added is if you're too close to one of these, if it explodes like this, that's fine. But if you overcharge it and explode it, oh, which I can't do now, this one's going to actually charge. Uh, let's find another. We'll get this one mined first. I'll show you. So I can be mining beside this one, and it's fine. And I get those gems. But if I find another rock node, like this one, and I get it to overcharge, oh, it might. There we go. You can see two damage. So I got to make a big explosion. You see, so you can try to avoid the damage when you overcharge your rock. That's where I am. Uh, I made some progress. Considering I didn't know how to code in. Dot, go dot, Godot, again. I don't know how to say it. Uh, I'm learning as I go. Uh, the hardest part recently that I figured out today was when I'm using my little laser to get my guy to turn based on where he was aiming. Uh, but yeah, I've made progress, and um, hopefully uh, you got some ideas of things that I can do to kind of make this game a little bit better. Uh, my thought is you just keep going down deeper, 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 deeper. Try to see how many gems you can get before you die instead of being able to heal it's just like try to survive so i don't know if i like the idea of losing a quarter of your health with each hit uh maybe it'll actually be something a little bit different but we will see i gotta change the bugs to make them look more like like the sand crabs but maybe a little bit uh or sand whatever they're called little pill bugs but make them a little more violent looking than what they heard they have those i just drew really quick just to have something that wasn't just a square chasing a circle so we've made the progress here that is it Let's get back to actually talking about Starfield. This is probably enough of a tangent for everyone. So that is it. That is the game I've been working on. Hopefully, I'm going to make some more progress. Oh, I'm going to kind of fix it up a little bit. And pretty soon, I think it might be at the point where I might get a couple people. If you would like to, to try it out, let me know. And I might be able to send you a copy to kind of play test and give me a little bit of a, a feedback on what I could do to make it even better. So let's get on to talk about Starfield versus Star Citizen. As always, Spectrum is about evenly divided between positive, helpful posts and uh, comments and whining and insults. Uh, it's like Reddit, but, you know, more related specifically to the verse. And lately, the biggest topic seems to be about the two games. Uh, neither one, uh, Star Citizen. But first, uh, the first one is actually about uh, Squadron 42. And I'm not going to talk about that game here. Citizen Con is coming up, and I predict a very polarizing presentation will happen. And then a lot of people are saying, abandon Squadron 42, or other people saying, release Squadron 42, or it's looking awesome. Who knows? Uh, and perhaps, I'm going to talk about it then, but absolutely, we're going to see more about Squadron 42 around the time of CitizenCon. Uh, I know they've taken it off the store. You can't buy the game right now, and they said it's because they're going to increase the price. And that's what makes me think they're really pushing towards releasing something more substantial, maybe even a release date around CitizenCon. But... For this video, I'm going to talk about the other game being talked about on Spectrum, which is Starfield. Uh, the big argument is that Starfield is going to kill Star Citizen. And the answer to that is no, it won't. It's a it's an old beat-to-death argument that No Man's Sky will kill Star Citizen. 
Elite Dangerous will kill Star Assassin. Uh, Dual Space is, will kill Star Assassin. Game after game after game. Uh, it's not going to. I mean, definitely having a successful space game is going to draw attention to that game more than Star Assassin. Absolutely. And hopefully a really successful launch of a game that was developed a lot quicker will encourage, you know, progression to happen a little bit faster as well. Uh, but it's not, it's not going to kill Star Citizen. I love space games, and I welcome more space games to play. But not, I'm not so mono-focused that one game will be the only game for me for space games. And like many others, I will play both games. Some people, maybe that's the case that Starfield will be the game that they switch to and they will kind of abandon Star Citizen or that they won't ever decide to get Star Citizen. That is possible. But I see myself playing both and, and giving them a go. So in the long run, I actually still think I'd see myself playing Star Citizen much more than I would a game like Starfield. Uh, so that does answer one question, which is, will I play it? Of course I will. But I'm not going to right away and not when it first comes out. Uh, and I won't be spending $70 for the game. Uh, from previous experience, it's going to be... Uh, I'll be a bit shocked if it's if it's less buggy than Star Citizen is right now, uh, which you can get for almost half that price. $45, you can get Star Citizen. It's going to be a buggy game. I'm expecting Starfield to be some of the, some of the same. Starfield does have a lot going for it. Uh, Bethesda made Skyrim, which is possibly the game that I've played more than any other game in existence by a large margin. And a lot of that's due to how long it's been around, but also because it's such a good game and so immersive and there's so much to do, I think Starfield is going to be more so. But they also made Fallout, which, I mean, I might give it another go, but I never really got into it. It never really interested me. Uh, and I see a lot of similarities to how I felt about playing Fallout as I do when I'm watching Starfield. It's a entirely, entirely different game than Star Citizen, and it's different than Skyrim as much more feels to me like Fallout. We'll see. Um, I see some marked differences in the two. Starfield is currently more fleshed out in both NPCs and missions than Star Citizen. But I think as a single player game, if it wasn't so fleshed out, I'd be really disappointed. It's combat focused, but uh, it looks like you have the option to focus on things like trade and business and exploring if you wish. Uh, I'd almost compare it more to No Man's Sky than Star Citizen. Overall, I'm impressed with uh, the thought that's gone into the design and the look of the game. Uh, the jetpacks give it more of an arcade-style gameplay. Again, it reminds me of No Man's Sky. Uh, I've seen the argument that Star Citizen will have jetpacks, but the reference that people keep putting out on Spectrum is for a kind of like a ship suit EVA more than a jetpack. I would be really surprised if we get lots of jetpacks and become a verse full of like Boba Fett zooming around Orson, it may happen, but I personally don't think that's really going to happen. I think jetpacks kind of make a game a little more overpowered because it gives you, it takes away a lot of limitations when you're able to like to get to places that you really normally wouldn't be able to get to go. So we'll see. Jetpacks, that's a big difference, but it's also just the movement and animation and feel is more like arcade than simulation and I'm I'm more into to simulation for a lot of a lot of things. So so that's 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 really kind of my main thing. My current thoughts are that it'll be interesting to see how uh, Starfield affects Star Citizen. I don't think it will. I am excited for it, but unless somebody wants to send me a copy for Christmas or something, you know, I'm looking at you Bethesda, if you want to help out a small channel, feel free. Oh. Another bit of a tangent. Sorry, I'm all over the place here. Uh having not really recorded something in a while and having been so busy I'm all over the place um, I've said many times thanks to all of you who have supported uh, this channel please subscribe and like if you have not it always helps me out it took about a video or more a week for almost two years to get to the 1000 subs and at that point I was finally able to get monetization and then that was around the end of last year and since then I'm getting my first actual pay now it's just having happening at the end of this month which is when i'm going to be announcing a giveaway that i'm having um but for all of you out there who want to create content it's just gotten easier uh youtube's changed 
uh, what what you need in order to to get your channel up and running and monetization. The thousand subs is now down to five hundred, which is more doable. So it's a great time to get into content creation, and I love it so much. And I love to see more people taking up the hobby. So if you would like to to get involved as well, creating content, I think the more the better. Great time to get doing it. Okay, so tangent over. Where was I? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, besides you know asking Bethesda to help me out. Um, when Starfield uh, comes out, um, I don't think I'm getting it then. I, d I don't really have an extra $70 to spend on games. Uh, but I think it'll it'll be great. I think people are really going to enjoy it. And eventually, it's going to be on sale. And when that happens, uh, there's a better chance that I'm going to be getting the game there. If it's as good as Fallout is, I'll at least get my money's worth and some enjoyment. I like the idea of the lego style shipbuilding where you're just kind of like snapping pieces together i'm wondering if the interiors of the ship makes sense when you do that we're gonna have to see that i do see a lot of genitalia shaped ships in the future with people making whatever shapes they want to um i kind of prefer the idea of buying a ship and customizing how it operates as opposed to building the ship but building a cool looking ship will be kind of fun um it may be that this game to me, in my opinion, will be as good as Skyrim, and I'll end up somehow owning like four or five different copies of the same game in different formats like I do with Skyrim. Time will tell. But until then, it looks like my time here is up. I didn't want to make this a super long video. So during 3.18, I was playing another space game, which I love, which is Space Engineers. Uh, I recorded some of that quite a while ago during the, the buggy mess that it was, and I'm going to be putting that video out this week on the channel as a little bit of a variety. Every once in a while I like to kind of switch things up and add something there. So I'm going to be putting that though. See if people like that video. See how it goes. I might be doing a little bit more of that. There's going to be more Star Citizen content coming out as soon as I get back in the verse, which is hopefully this weekend. Uh, I'm going to start my my Grand Tour uh, series starting up. I'm also going to just be start playing this newer version and checking some of the new stuff out, some of the different bunker missions, stuff like that. Doing some looting, doing some fun, having a good time. So until then... Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. Sorry I've been away for a bit. And I'm going to have a lot of free time coming up next month. So there's going to be a lot more content coming out. And I hope to see you all soon in the verse. Thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye.